What's up, everybody? Spirit with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. This is another update episode. Um, hot off of the press of last couple episodes of me complaining about not having conveyors, guess what? The update adds conveyors, which is awesome. So it adds more than just conveyor blocks, though. This is still a work in progress. They've said that they will probably change uh, things, you know, tweak and do different things to it. Um, and I won't lie, like, I don't know all this stuff. But basically, these are the four new blocks. The conveyor's not really new. Um, this is a connector tube, which you can use to connect to other conveyors. And this is a collector, which for those of you that have played Minecraft, it's basically a hopper. Like, it, um, if you have debris stuff that's floating out in the world, it can collect it. And then this is a connector, which I'm not entirely sure of all of its uses, but in the trailer that um, Keen Software put out when they did the update, it shows it like ejecting it out like the opposite of a collector. I don't know if you could butt it up right next to something else or not, but it showed it like... Um, for example, having, yeah, I don't know how you, like, something like this, and then putting a, a collector like this, and it would shoot stuff out into the collector, and then that would put it into, like, something else. Um, that's kind of the, the system that I saw them using. Um, but I will probably end up experimenting with it a bit more as time goes on. But basically, um, you could do, like, let's say, let's say we'll put a storage here. So let, I want to kind of play around with it, because I won't, I won't lie and say that I know all this stuff. I really don't. I'm just kind of showing you what all you can do with it. So let's try something like this, and then, wait, was that not the right? How do I flip this thing? Why would I flip? Oh, I guess it's just auto-flippy. Okay, and they turn red when they're not connected to something else, I think. Yeah, and then they turn yellow when they're connected. So let's try that. Now, let's put a storage on that one and just see how this would work. So if we put... Um, what's the... Isn't there stuff over here? Yeah, let's just grab some of this stuff. For some reason my footsteps are quiet. I'm all stealthy. Um, so let's just put 10 in there. So it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Okay, so let's go to control panel. What is this? Connector 2. So it's on, so let's do throw out. See, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So let's try this instead. So that's probably not how these are supposed to be used. Now... What I wonder is what happens if we put a conveyor right next to it. Okay, nothing happens. Connector, collector, gravity, refinery. Okay, so that's not going to do it either. Okay, so then we try this way. We'll put a thing there, and one there, maybe. Although the other thing we could try is putting something like that. Let's do that first. Okay, that won't work. Apparently. So this is good. I like testing things out like this. That way I don't make a derpy design in my Let's Play stuff. So, connector. 
So it's on throw out, but it's not throwing anything out. So what does this collect all thing do? Anything? Or is that the wrong one? Let's get rid of that one. Maybe I'm dealing with the wrong connector. Yeah, I was. Huh. <laughs> throw out. Nothing's happening. Throw out all. Nothing's happening. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, wait. There it goes. Oh, okay. So that did work. It was the gravity that was pushing it. So let's... Okay, that's set to nothing. Let's put these in here and turn gravity off for a second. Okay. Connector, throw out. Doesn't look like it's doing anything, but when you put collect... I don't know why collect all would turn it... would project it, but it does. And then that picks it up. It should go through here and end up in there. Okay, so it seems... Now, can you interact with these directly? I don't think you can. So, what it seems like is you're going to have to have a connector that's set up that then projects into a conveyor or something of that nature. Like, you can't put just a conveyor next to this. It doesn't seem like it'll work. It'll just receive. Now, let's try this. Let's do... Turn the gravity back on so that we can see if there's a way to do it with gravity. Uh, connector's already set to do that. Oh, it doesn't have anything in the inventory anymore. But it's not in here. Okay, so that won't work either doesn't look like. You can't put it directly into a conveyor from the looks of things. And again, all of this is tentative. It is all work in progress at the moment. So that's very well possible that they may do it eventually. Um, now let's also try this. Turning gravity off. Throw that in there. Connector. That pulled it out. Oh, there it is. So that doesn't work. Does not work. Confirmed. Alright. So we're getting the hang of it. And see, that's kind of what I wanted to do this this time, was figure out uh, what all you had to, to do to work with this stuff. So basically, what I'm gathering here, although, what I wonder is... Is there a point? Okay, so this is what I'm theorizing, and if, if any of you that are watching know better than I do, feel free to pipe right in. Basically, the sum up that I'm getting, you need a connector to eject from a chest. You need a collector to collect things from a connector. Now what I wonder, can I put one right there? Oh, you can. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, we can do that. You can do all that. And the tubes are for straight lines, and then a conveyor is essentially for corners, so that you can change the directions of the tubes. Is pretty much what I'm coming to the conclusion of. And now once you once you inject it, you can put a crate on the receiving end. Um, you just can't put it on the projecting end. So like if this is your ship and you pull up to dock and you want to eject your ore, it would have to be set up like this. But if you have an ore station, it could be set up like this, where it gets injected into it. Now, with this setup, let's try again with gravity on and see 
how that works. Did it do it? Okay, it's not in there. I didn't see it come flying out. Aha! Alright, so you could do something like this. If you wanted to, to do that. Which would work very well. Um... And there's so... Even though this is work in progress and they're not done with it, it works so well from what I've seen um, on their videos and other people's that I've seen that have done videos on the conveyor system that you can do so much crazy crap with these even though this is not the final system of how they want to do it type of thing and it's not completely finished. But I already have a lot of ideas that I want to do and I'll probably start working on them in the next episode on my uh, survival world. Um... Uh, for a drilling rig. Uh, for a drilling system, you could set these up for um, a ship that... Basically, I'm thinking of making a dome over the back of the ship with a collector in the back kind of thing. So it can catch all of the loose... Um, the loose ores and stuff. Um, so yeah, the more they add to this game, the more it just gets way more complex and awesome type of thing. Um... So, real quick... Oh, this one's actually got drills on it. Okay. Cool beans. Now, you can't do a gravity generator on small ships, right? Right. Didn't think so. Um, and this also works the same way that you can pipe these into um, refineries and stuff like that. Let's actually play around with that. Oh! Well, that works. That'll give us some parts to work with. So let's put... Can we put a tube directly into it? Oh, we can. Okay. Now, one of the other things I wanted to look at is what do these cost? Conveyors? You can put this stuff on small ships, apparently, because they have an option for both. So it's computers, motors, small tubes, construction components, and interior plates. So they have a lot of those. Uh, the construction components and plates and the steel tubes are quite a bit for a conveyor. Bulletproof glass, construction component. Those are your biggest things for the tubes. Construction steel plate. <laughs> Excuse me. Construction components and steel plates are going to be the biggest cost for the collector. Oh, and steel is definitely the biggest cost for the connector. So they're not ridiculous or anything, but they are pretty expensive, just because I think that's just kind of how it works. The other thing I'd like to compare is the size difference from the small ship ones to the large. Actually, I don't want to do that. See, stuff like that is where the conveyor blocks come in handy. Boom! Check that out. See, this is, like, gonna be insane. You can do some crazy stuff with this. Okay. I wonder, can you see it going down the pipeline? That's probably a work in progress, too. They'll probably add that at some point. I would imagine. And you can hear it doing stuff. Where's the other door? Ah! And there's uranium. So, yeah, you can do stuff like this. Which is pretty darn awesome. Now, the only thing I, I do see as an issue would be if you wanted to do something like this. Oh, there's stuff in the way. Get out of the way. Clear the deck. That's the next update. They'll give you a mop. Or not a mop. Um, a broom. Sweep things around. Anyways, is if you did something like this, I don't know if the game is smart enough to figure out um, what you want it to do. Actually, that's a good experiment. Let's try that out. Let's take some actual components. Really? What else is in the way here? Wow. This computer chip is blocking the path of the tube. Awesome. Alright, so let's do this. Um, where's the other door for the assembler? There you are. 
So let's say... What do we have? What did I pick up? I have silver... Display, bulletproof glass, siliconic computers... What uses gold? Bulletproof glass. Silicon wafer. Needs 15, and I picked up 50. Right? So let's say we want to build two of these. So now there's a production queue for it. And this is just going to take raw material. Which... I don't have any raw ores. I thought there was some ore. There's more iron. Okay. So what we're going to do, just to test how far along this system is, is put iron ore and silicon into the system and then see what machines get what. Oh! Okay, so the assembler got two of those. Oh, and it got... Oh, no freaking way! Oh, you can pipe raw stuff to the... Oh my! Oh my gosh! That is so awesome! That is so cool! You could just pump stuff in... Ooh... That is so cool! So... Here's a question. Can it do that if you put a... storage unit directly on it? I wonder. I don't remember if that's possible. So, one thing I'd like to do real quick is set up... Well, no, I won't do that in this episode. Um, the other thing that you can do is let's show how the collector kind of works. Um, we'll go ahead and break that. And then set up a pipe for that. Okay. Now I need a drill. So... Oh, and let's turn the gravity... Can I adjust it from here? Yes, okay. Um, height... Wait. I don't remember how to adjust the gravity, so I'm just gonna make a new generator somewhere else. Wait. Oh, was that the other ship? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's... Let's put... Not that we'll actually use this. This is more for the gravity. Um... Okay, so we got gravity pulling towards the collector, right? Now if we break some of the stone, or whatever this is... Oops. Well... <laughs> it's supposed to work. Hold on. It's not the collector's fault, it's just that it's not, um... Hmm. Alright, so here's a better idea. Let me just grab some of this. See how some of that flew in there? Whoa! Forgot the gravity's the other direction. <laughs> so this should have... Should've had something in it. I thought... Ah, whatever. So, if you're drilling and you had some kind of, um... Let's just... Take these guys. And... No, not that. Sort of. Not what I meant to do. If you did something like this, right? Why can't I place that there? Ah, whatever. You get the idea. If you had some kind of funnel type system and you got... How do I... Wait. 
Wait, that's not what I meant to do. What is going on here? I thought there was a way to split it in half. Hmm. Well, let's just grab a hundred. I could have just shift clicked, I guess, but whatever. And you drop this. Bloop! It goes in the hopper. Or the collector. I'm so gonna call it the hopper all the time. Force of habit. And it would go into the chest. Um, so you'd have to do some kind of like funnel type system, probably, to get it to do that. Um, but it could prove useful for drilling ships and stuff to keep it from uh, losing losing ores and whatnot. Actually, let's try this guy. Let's see how see how it works with this. Whoa. Because this usually has excess. But they're all flying past it, unfortunately. Come on. You know you want to fly over there. So you see all the little stones, the tiny little ones that are hitting it? I can't get a good example, though. Okay, let's see what, what happened here. I'm pretty sure you all are understanding the idea. See how there's 150 when there was 100? So some of those little debris were falling off into the collector. Um, so you could do something like that in terms of uh, for a drilling rig, machine, platform, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I think that'll about wrap up the update. I'm very excited about it. I really want to work on it on my uh, survival world. It'd be a lot of fun. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Peace!